better be on my way, Mom. I've got a train to catch. Why don't you come with us, son? I'm sure Aunt Minnie has a job for you. I gotta make my own way, Ma. I didn't go to college all those years to end up picking fruit. I know you didn't, son. It's it's just, well, we'll miss you so. Uh, don't fret, Ma. As soon as I land somewhere, I'll send word. I know you will. I know you gotta do it your own way, son. Just be careful. I promise. Y'all take care and give Aunt Minnie my regards. Bye, Pa. Bye, Ma. Be good. Any chance of getting something to eat? Yeah. Two bits for dinner and a place to bunk for the night. Kind of steep, ain't it? Now where are you going to get a better deal out there? Uh, I guess you're right. Pick a place. Is this seat taken? Nah, go ahead. How's the food? Don't ask. That bad, huh? Yep. I'm Charlie. Glad to meet you. Name's Vernon. Where are you headed? Got me a job over South Haven Way. Lucky break. Yeah, I've been looking since I lost the store. Lost your store? People still need to eat, don't they? Yep. But when them farmers begin losing their land and move away, there weren't enough customers to keep me going. Had to close up. Never figured it that way. Even the ones still hanging on. Got nothing left. They bought everything on credit. Watts did me in. Reckon it's affected most everyone now. Guess so. What you? Yep, the wind in your face, a great sunrise, a nice way to start the day. Just keep an eye out for the bulls. Bulls? Railroad bulls. You know, the guys that try to keep people like us from riding. Oh, I'm kind of new at this. I thought so. What did you do before this? Just finished law school. How come you're not practicing law? Right, right after I graduated law school, I was going to go to work for this lawyer, but he changed his mind about hiring me. Guess most people got it tough nowadays. And the funny thing is, I'm not really sure I want to be a lawyer. Why'd you go to law school? Yeah, for my parents. They wanted me to have better opportunities in life than what they had. Most parents want that. Say, who's that? Bulls, let's go. Come on, we gotta jump. Help, help, I can't swim. Just stand up. Help! Water's yeah, not help. deep. Stand up. You okay? Yeah. Shh, I guess I panicked. How bad? That was some leap of faith. It was jump or be tough, and I'll take jumping any day. Same here. At least we're closer to South Haven. Good for you. Not so much for me. Say, how'd you like to come along? Maybe there's a job for you. You think? Could be. Well, why not? I got nothing to lose. Maybe your friends think I'm just a stranger. My fish will never see no more. But there is one promise that is given. Maybe we can get some grub up ahead. That's worth a try. Looks like we're in luck. Huh? Yeah, see them markings? They say water, a bite to eat, and a place to rest your head for the night. It says all that? Yep. Just bows watching out for each other. I'm a man of constant sorrow. I've seen trouble all my days. What y'all want here? Well, like some water, ma'am? I guess Pa won't mind. Well's over there. What's going on here, Kay? Well, they just wanted some water, Pa. How long since you boys had something to eat? Oh, it's been a while. Kay, get these fellas something to gnaw on. Sure, Pa. You boys just passing through? Yep, headed for a job over South Haven Way. 
Ain't too many honest jobs around here nowadays. Going to work for my cousin. Yeah? Who's he? Billy Olson. Better stay clear of him lest you're looking for trouble. He's bad news. What you mean? He's a bootlegger. I hear the revenuers are watching him. Here you go, boys. Hello there. Hello, sir. Hey, my name's Charlie. What's yours? Annie. She's my daughter. Well, glad to make your acquaintance, Annie. Nice to meet you too, sir. Enjoy your meal, boys. You could bunk down the barn tonight if you've mind to, but be on your way by sunrise. We're much obliged. Hold on a second, boys. I've been doing a little thinking and decided I could use a couple of good hands for the harvest. You interested? I am. I already told my cousin I'd be coming. Guess that's your business. Dollar a day plus room and board. Oh, that'd be great. I better get going. Thanks for everything. Well, if things don't work out, come on back. Sure. Good luck, Vernon. Thanks. I'm sure it'll turn out fine. All you got to do is pack the moonshine into the car, run it over the state line to a little place in Memphis. Piece of cake. You said I wouldn't have to drive. Vern, that was before my driver got busted. You know, Betty will be awfully upset if I get arrested. You ain't going to get caught. There's nothing to it. Hell, do it myself, except I got a meeting tonight with my lawyer. What about them revenuers? That is why we run the stuff at night. I don't know. Look, we got a real hot car for you to drive. Can't none of them revenuers touch it. I guess. I'll give it a try. But I don't like it. You'll do fine. Take the car for a drive. Get used to it. We'll move the stuff tonight. Looks like you're an old hand at that. Eh, sorta. My parents had a farm and I worked on it till I went to law school. So you're a lawyer? Eh, I reckon you could say that. Things went sour right after I finished school. So, I haven't really worked as a lawyer yet. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, I guess. Well, you don't sound too disappointed. I'm not sure I want to be a lawyer. I just went to law school because Ma and Pa wanted me to. Well... Maybe things happen the way they did for a reason. At least you'll have some time to think about it. Something's come up, Charlie. Got a minute? Yeah, sure. What's on your mind? Billy wants me to make a run tonight. I wasn't supposed to drive. Tell him that. Did. He says it'll only be once. Ah, once you do it the first time, you'll be stuck. Just walk away. I'm sure Fred will still take you on. Can't. Need the money to support my family. A dollar a day won't do. That may be true, but being in jail won't do it either. I guess just once can't hurt. If you gotta do it, don't take any unnecessary chances. You back for the job? No, just in the area and stop to talk to Charlie. I see. I need you out in the fields, Charlie. Sure. See, you got one of them fancy new cars already. You the runner? Yeah, just this once. It's always just once. Billy says he'd make the run himself, but he's got to meet with his lawyer tonight. Don't believe it for a minute. No, you're wrong. You're dead wrong. We'll see. Dagnet by Hyde Revenue. Anyway. 
I'm looking for Kay Bronson. Anyone here know her? That's me. You're Kay Eloise Bronson? Yes. Well, I have a summons for you then. A summons? For what? Yeah, read it. It's all explained. I don't see how you couldn't outrun him in that car. Guess I was looking in the mirror when I came upon that curve. Should have kept your eyes on the road. Sure should have. When you get me out. Who said I was getting you out? Ain't nothing I can do for you. But you said I'd be safe. You gotta get me out. Hell, ain't nothing safe anymore. What'd I tell Betty? That bud is your problem. You'll have quite a spell to think about it. It's open. Is this story about you being a lawyer true? Sure. Why? I think I need some legal help. What's this? A summons. What's this all about? I thought you were Annie's mother. I'm her mother, all right. Just not her biological mother. Uh, what do you mean by that? Well, let me start from the beginning. One evening, 11 years ago, I was closing up at the store. I saw a man, Billy Olson, set a basket on the steps of the church. I watched it for a while to see who would come and pick it up. When no one claimed it, curiosity got the best of me. I went over to see what it was. There was a blanket covering the basket. When I pulled it back, there was Annie. My husband had recently died from injuries suffered in a farm accident, and I had just miscarried. I reasoned that Annie was a gift from God. Since no one knew I had lost my baby, I decided to take her as my own. That night I left town with Annie and told everyone I had gone to help a sick friend in Atlanta. When I came home a few months later, everyone thought I had given birth to Annie in Atlanta. My plan had worked. I was sure no one knew about it. You think Billy was watching to make sure she was found? Maybe. But why would he want her back after so many years? Don't know. What about Billy's wife? She left Billy long before I had found Annie. I heard she passed away a couple of years later. You know her maiden name? Hmm. Hart. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Bonnie Hart. Good. That'll give me a place to start. You can't let him take her from me. Please. I'll do what I can. You're my mom. Aren't you? Of course I'm your mom. How much did you hear? I heard you found me in a basket. Well, that's true. I may not be your biological mother, but I am your mom. I don't want another mom. I want you. Annie, I've always been your mom, and I always will be. I love you. I won't let anyone take you away. I promise. I see you got yourself into a little fix. Yeah, that worthless cousin of mine don't care about anyone but himself. I should have listened to you. You mean that? Damn straight. Well, I think I can help you, but I'm going to need your help with something, too. My help? What can I help you with? It has to do with Billy, but you have to promise to help. Sure, I promise. What do I have to do? Uh, let me get you out of here first. I got some information, Kay. Can you sit down for a minute? Did you find out anything? Sure did. Billy Olson is the one trying to get custody of Annie. I found out Bonnie's parents were well-to-do and left Annie their entire estate. I think he wants custody of her so he can get his hands on the money. Let him have the money, just so he leaves Annie with me. Well, I'm afraid it's not that easy. Well, he can't have her. I'll take Annie and I'll leave. They'll eventually find you and take her. If you want her, you'll have to fight for her now. Well, you know I want her. I've loved her since the moment I saw her. I just don't know how to fight this. I don't know a lawyer in this town who will go against him. I'll help. Just calm down. How? You said you never worked as a lawyer. That's true, but that doesn't mean that I can't. He's not fit to be a father. I know, but we have to prove that in court. Everyone knows his reputation. As far as the court's concerned, that's all hearsay. We need some solid evidence for all of his illicit activities. Well, couldn't we get some pictures of him running his still? Eh, we'd never get close enough to get a picture, but I've got another way. You do? Yeah. You remember uh, Vernon? Sure. But isn't he Billy's cousin? Yeah. But after he got busted for running shine, Billy left him sitting in jail to rot. 
you know, Vernon, he's not too happy about that. So I told him I'd represent him in court and even post his bail if he agreed to testify against Billy. You think that'll do any good? Yeah, if there's any justice in this world, it will. We got to get out of here quick. Billy found out you're representing Kay, and I'm testifying against him. He's out to get us. What's he going to do? Don't know, but I heard he and a couple of his thugs were headed this way. Well, you better get going. He can be real mean. Evening, Vernon. Counselor? You boys heading somewhere? Just going home. Nah. Nah. I think you're coming with us. Don't have time right now. How about I catch you in the morning? Don't think there's going to be a morning for you, cuz. Well, what do you mean? I mean you should have kept your trap shut and stayed out of my business. I got him into this. Just let him go. Can't. Just can't trust him no more. I swear, I won't say a thing. I know you won't, because you won't be able to. Just leave Kay and Annie alone, and all this will go away. Nope, can't do that. You know how much money that kid will be worth when she gets her inheritance? Can't say as I do. Let's just say it's, uh, it's more than you or I will ever see. It's not worth it, Billy. You'll go to jail and end up with nothing. Come on, it's time to take a ride. Get him in the car, boys. Hold it right there. It's over. You won't pull that trigger. You ain't got the nerve. Try me. One thing's for sure, you'll never know. Now tell your boys to put their guns down. You ever shot a man? Can't miss at this range. Shoot me. They'll take her away from you anyway. So what do you have to gain by killing me? At least Danny won't be stuck with the likes of you. I'll split the money with you. 50-50. Ain't yours to split. It's Annie's. It's over, boys. Put him down. Put your weapon down, Kay. I'll take it from here. Thanks. Would you have really shot him? Not sure. Just knew I wasn't going to let him have Annie. I'm pretty sure it's all over now. Tomorrow morning I'll make a motion to dismiss, and it'll all be behind us. Well, thank you, Charlie. No, thank you, Kay. I reckon I'm a lawyer now. Waiting on a lifeline, wishing, hoping, praying I'll see you sign.